see as I paint the softening effect is starting to appear I'm just going to increase the, hard br the hardness of my brush a little and I can simply paint with the brush painting white onto the mask and that reveals the nice soft skin without actually revealing it over the eyes which we don't want okay so I'm just going to show you a, a small section of this just so you get the idea of what's going on again you can see as I paint that the smooth skin is appearing exactly where we want it so of course we wouldn't paint over the mouth we'd just concentrate on the skin areas just to bring that nice softness and you can see the contrast between this side of the paste that hasn't got the smoothing applied and this side that has now we can still temper this effect further by reducing the opacity of the softened layer we can do that by clicking on it in the layers palette and we'll just simply reduce the opacity to make the effect rather more subtle and you can see as I'm reducing that there the amount of smoothing is getting less and I think somewhere around about 75% will be perfect for that we'll call that 80% so you really need to judge this visually as you go home let me just zoom out of that a little and you can see from here just just what a difference that that's made this area of skin is ni now nice and smooth and all the rest of the skin still has that uh, rather unsightly texture so you need to complete that over the uh, over all the areas of the skin okay so now I've completed my um, layer mask for the skin smoothing and I've literally just gone to layer and flatten image to flatten the image again down to a simple background layer now when we're dealing with portraits and and skin tones you'll often find that the shadow areas of the skin tones themselves are a little too dark and the highlights can be a little too bright so this is something else that we often need to correct now to do this in Photoshop elements we need to use a command called adjust color curves which is similar to the curves command in Photoshop proper although it's not quite as quite as accurate but we can still get a, a really good result with this so again working on the flat flattened background layer we'll go to enhance adjust color and adjust color curves just wait for the dialog to appear here now we want to adjust the shadows and make them lighter in this so we can grab this slider here and simply drag it to the right to make these shadow areas lighter now this dialog is a little small to say the least and it can be really difficult to see with very fine adjustments exactly how much of a difference you're making unless you make major adjustments which will be uh, too heavy handed for this but what we can do is kind of move this dialogue out of the way a little wherever is comfortable and your changes will be updated in the actual workspace of Photoshop elements so we can see just what a difference we're making again here as with all work on portraits you only want to be making very small adjustments so we don't introduce areas of grey that's lightened those shadows nicely and I just want to darken the highlights very very slightly indeed and again you can see this reflected in the workspace itself so we can simply drag that down a little again I'm going to brighten my shadows just a tiny bit and that looks pretty good and you can see the similarity to the curves command in Photoshop is illustrated by the, the small curves graph here so once you've uh, lightened your shadows and darkened your highlights and you're happy simply click OK